Welcome to episode one of Adventures in Arch Linux, where you see me go from a completely nothing to everything in Arch Linux. You, you get my picture. And I'm going to be installing all this software onto Arch Linux that doesn't even have a desktop environment, although it does now because this actually technically isn't the first episode. This is episode one, but it isn't the first episode because episode zero was so terrible, it wasn't worthy of giving it a proper number. So this is episode one, this is where it's actually going to start getting interesting. Um, I'll just give you a rundown over what I did in episode one. So the story is that I've installed Arch Linux without a desktop environment or anything onto this 300 gigabyte portable hard drive. I used a live CD and then in the first episode, episode zero, I installed LXDE, which is a lightweight desktop environment. And as you can see, this is LXD on the screen. This is just my little Arch Linux wiki as a guide right next to me. And it has absolutely pretty much nothing on it. And in fact, I didn't even install all the aspects of LXD. You can see here I've got accessories, and this is just some of the stuff that came with LXD, plus this XFE, which is a file browser. And that's basically all I got in episode one. The rest of it, I was trying to get a screen recorder because I definitely don't want to do the whole series trying to type everything while holding a camera or having it mounted here because that would just be ridiculous. So, let's get this started off. Last time I had a very, very bad issue uh, in the terminal. I was going, okay, let's, let me just show you what I was doing. I was in the terminal and I was wanting a program called VocoScreen, which is a screen recorder. So what I did, I thought, okay, all I have to do is type in pacman-s, then VocoScreen. Because, you know, that's what you would think you would have to type in, right? Um, plus sudo at the beginning, because you, uh, you need administrator rights to do that. Now, the issue here is that VocoScreen isn't in the official repositories. It's actually in the AUR, which is the Arch User Repository. So after making my first video and wondering why this wasn't working, they said, well, you can't get it because it's in the Arch User Repository. Now, to get stuff from the Arch User Repository, which is not officially supported, it could be dangerous to get software from there, but the good thing is that it's moderated. So it's minimal risk, if you know what I mean. So if there is something dangerous on the Arch User Repository, it will be taken down. So always remember Remember that if this isn't working, if you type in the name of the program, could be on the Arch user repository, and if it isn't on the Arch user repository, it's on the official thing, it could be a lib issue, like, you know, 632-bit software and stuff, and you need to get the thing that allows you, multi-lib, I can't remember the exact name, that allows you to do it, 32-bit software on a 64-bit operating system. But anyway, what you have to do is you've got to install a program called... Now, I, I don't know how to say it, but it stands for yet another user repository tool, and it's French for yogurt. So I'm just going to call the tool yogurt right now. <laughs> I know I shouldn't call it that, but that's what we're going to call it. So yogurt is a program that allows you to get stuff from the Arch user repository. The only thing that was a little difficult is that yogurt is also on the Arch user repository. <laughs> So that's pretty annoying. So you have to doubt, like, you can get stuff off the Arch user repository manually, and that's how I got yogurt. So just off camera, I got yogurt because it would have been too hard to try and film that. So I've got yogurt now. Let's get Voco Screen. Um, if you want to get yogurt, there's plenty of videos on YouTube telling you how to get yogurt. Just check it, check it out, and maybe even eat some yogurt <laughs> while you get yogurt. Okay. Anyway, it's built. This is how you do it. It's just like Pac-Man, really, um, but we're getting it from the Archie's uh, repository. So, you, Arch, and I want dash S, Voco, screen. But you can't forget to put in sudo at the beginning, unless you're running from root, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. So, then you just type in your password, and let's see this work. Because I need to get a screen recorder this episode. Okay, downloading, good. Comment, comment, so it's got some comments. It says, unsupported package, potentially dangerous. But don't worry, and you technically should look at this and read where all the sources are coming from. I'm not going to do it, because I just, I've got overwhelming trust, which I probably shouldn't have. No, I'm pressing N. 
Um, continue building, yes. Now it needs all these things, I'm just going to press yes. And it's going to grab all of these packages that I need for Voco Screen. So once it's got all of these packages, oh, that was fast. Okay. Oh, now it's just extracting them all. So as you can see, I'll just show you what I did in downloads. You can see the leftover stuff. I had to download the package query and the yogurt kind of thing, extract them into these folders and then make the packages <laughs> with um, a few commands. Uh, nothing interesting. You don't want to see that on screen at all. <laughs> anyway, let's come back to this. Continue installing. Well, of course I want to continue installing. Yes. Yes. And done. So now, if I look in here, I should have sound and video. Okay, here we go. It is Voco Screen. And it's also got all this QT stuff. So maybe Voco Screen required the QT. Because I know that's something to do with software development. Um, I use Visual Basic on Windows for software development, so I'm not really familiar with Qt. But, with that being said, I will look into some Qt development, and I may even develop an application in this, in this. I'm planning for it to be at least 100 episodes this series, so we've got plenty of time in my Arch Adventure. So let's open this. It's a screencast program. And what is my impression of this appearance of this program? Anyway, before we continue, I'll just press... X and I'll move that across and I'm gonna save all the video files in this videos folder so let's see here we go <laughs> this is a bit scary so my opinion of the appearance of this program is average it doesn't really look professional this word voco it just I don't know it looks off centered a little bit I'm not going to say it has a fantastic interface, but I am going to say, let me just look at this, that it has a simple looking interface that does look quite easy to use. What are the formats? You've got MKV. I'll probably keep it at that, So it's because I know MKV is very compressed. I've got these. I'll keep it at that one too. Videos, that's exactly where I want it to go to. Oh, yeah, good. And 25 frames a second. Yeah. All looking good. I won't put it above 25 frames per second because I don't really need any more than that. And this video is at 29 frames per second anyway, so it's not much of a difference. And I just don't want to overload this system. <laughs> Even though it hasn't got much, I just don't want to overload it. Okay, now this is the moment of truth. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to press start. Now, I don't know if this is going to be able to, because I'm looking at this audio here, I don't know if it's going to be able to properly record the audio from this or my headphones. So I'm just going to use this camera audio, and I'm going to try this out. Here we go. I'm going to press start. Okay, this is scary. Start. Now, what do I see? I see some numbers, as you can see, counting up. So I'm guessing that's probably not how many frames, but I guess it's got something to do with the fact that it's recording. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this test recording, I'm going to move this window around. It should be full screen. Then I'm going to move this window around. Oops. I'm holding the camera now and I'm talking. Um, if, you, if it's successfully screen recording, that means that everything is going great. So let's see. If you see like a transition on the screen now, that means, yep, the file worked and it's now been edited into this video. By the way, this series is completely unedited. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm now going to close down the terminal and we're going to stop recording. Now, let's see if this worked. I'm going to click into this video folder. Oh, okay, there's a video there, 29 megabytes. Does it have duration there? That would be interesting to see if this program can see the duration of stuff. Let me just widen it out. Modified date. Okay, so no duration. Okay, that time is wrong too. That's okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see. Fogo screen, open it up. Here we go, the moment of truth. You know if it works, but I don't. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to hope it plays a video. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. Uh, open with. Okay, well, we'll try and open it. Oh, you know what? 
We actually have made a video that we can't even play because our computer is unable to play videos. Okay, so what we need is something like VLC player. Let me see if that works. Let me just grab that. So I'll open up the terminal. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're going to have a screen recorder happening really soon. Okay, so let me type it in. Ready? VLC. Oh, hopefully this works. Oh, wait. Pseudo pack man s v l c hopefully it's not in the a u r uh, i'll find out in a sec here we go no it's not in the a u r great so let's get this program oh it seems to oh wow that was fast okay let's see ah oh, good v l c plays there here it is at the top and i'm guessing to play the video file let's try it out so I'll just drag and drop it. I hope this works. Drag and drop. What? Did it work? I... Is this... Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I I'm moving two windows at once. Oh, oh okay. Okay, it's, it's full... S so that's what's happening. <laughs> it's full screen and this is still in the front. So let me minimise this. Oh, okay. And this is... This is my taskbar. Well, wait, wait, wait. I need to I need to work out what's going on here. Let's. Oh, so it is. It was okay. I've got to change it to full screen. Click that. Now it's running full screen, and you can now see the video is running full screen on my computer. So right now, a mini review on Voco Screen. This program here that you can barely see from there. I am extremely impressed with it. It got my task done straight away. I installed Voco Screen. It's you know what. You can upvote these things on the Arch user repository. For me, upvote it. I don't want it in the AUR. This is a program that all Arch users, sh Arch users should have if they're going to be doing screencasting. They shouldn't have to download yogurt just to get... <laughs> don't worry about this yogurt thing. I won't always... <laughs> well, I will always call that that, but we're probably not going to get much stuff from the Arch user repository. We'll get stuff more from the official stuff. But, Vogo Screen is fantastic. It made a video, I got VLC and I could play the video back. The file size of these videos are great. I mean, like, I recorded for 52 seconds and it was like 40 megabytes or something. That's good. Like, I'm used to fraps and, okay, let's record a one hour video at 720p. The file is 200 gigabytes, you know, I'm used to big massive files, not these tiny little MKV files. So. I'm going to be using this program for a very long time to come, unless I can find a better one. But there is still a problem. I'm not done yet, because I'm still having to use the camera audio, this video camera that I'm using now, this audio, on these files. So my next task will try, will be kind of finding out exactly how to get this audio working on this. So I think next, now, I'm going to record Audacity. Best thing is that no more holding the camera, I'm now going to flip straight to the screen. Okay, here we go, I'm going to press start and hopefully we'll be able to get Audacity working and this video will actually work. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, start. Now that this is started, yep, Voco screen is recording, I'm going to now come into this terminal and I'm going to type in uh, sudo pacman S, capital S, uh, and I want Audacity. Now, Audacity is a pro... I'm just going to try and use this program as an audio tester. I'm going to try and make some audio files, so yes. And while that's going, we're going to open up this folder, go into Philip, uh, and I'm going to make a new folder. Um, audio snip. Pits. So this is just going to be like little times when I make little Audacity test files. Um, installing Audacity, in fact it should be just about done. Yeah, there it is, but I'll just wait for this to finish because I don't want anything to stuff up here. Netjack driver. Okay. Doesn't this just feel like such a great success? We went from being unable to do practically anything and now here we go. I'm, I've got a screen recorder working. I'm getting programs 
and right now I'm getting Audacity and I've just got an Audacity and Audacity had better load up. Oh, and it did. I'm just going to click OK. Don't show this again. So this is 2.0.5. Fantastic. And look at this. So Audacity. Now let me see what comes up here. Okay. Very, this is like, like yes, this is Windows, but this is very different to what I'm used to. Oh. So this looks like all these, it's trying to give me microphones with all this surround sound and... You know what, let's just test that audio is working. I'm going to go on the internet, which I don't have. Let's just grab a browser now. <laughs> Here we go, I'm going to get uh, sudo pacman-s firefox. You can, if you don't like firefox, tell me what would be a better browser. Let's just quickly install it. Got it. Okay, so let's go into internet now, Firefox. This is a very productive episode, and now I'm going to type in, I'm going to go on YouTube, and to test to see if the audio is working, we're going to look at, uh, what should we look at? Uh, Mac versus PC versus Linux parody. And... There we go. From OS First Timer, which is me. Uh, <laughs> install Flash, okay. It's very, I'm not used to this. Like, I'm usually used to just things working. No suitable plugins were found. Let's get Flash. Uh, let, let's look this up. Here we go. Arch Linux Flash. Browser plugins, Arch Linux. Okay, let's try and get this. Flash plugin, so flash plugin. Firefox, here we go. Oh, what? Full screen. Mm, I'm confused. Installing Flash Player in Arch Linux. So let's have a look at this. It's two years old, but okay, it still should be relevant. Flash is often used on the web in forms of videos, games, and other Flash web applications. Love it or hate it, but you can't escape it, at least for now. Okay. First of all, you'll need to edit the Pac-Man configuration file. Config. Okay. VI. So it's using VI. I would probably use Nano for that. Um, multi-lib include, oh well I've already got multi-lib, pacman dash -S, flash player, okay let's try this, I'm going to open up the term on, oh, oh let's hope this works, sudo pacman capital S flash player, oh let's hope it works, oh awesome, easier than I thought, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to copy this, Control A C. I'll try and paste it. This program it like came with a default. Well, I think it did. Did it come with a thing that I can <laughs> see? I'm I'm used to coming in here and going okay Notepad. Wait, one of the a uh, simple text viewer. Let's just use this quickly. Control Paste Edit. I can't. Oh, you can't paste in this. Let me paste in the terminal. Control V. What? Okay, I think I'm gonna need a text editor. <laughs> see, oh, this is hopeless. Okay, you know what? Let's just see if it works without having to do that. Optional G. Oh, okay, I don't need that. Oh, it should be done. Okay, let's refresh this and see if it worked. Ah, uh, didn't this install? Oh, what? I thought this would have worked. Maybe I just need to get in and out of the browser. Let's just see if it works if we get in and out of the web browser. Because maybe, you know, you just need to do it, kind of reset it because Flash wasn't installed before. So does it have history? Okay, here we go. <gasps> and an ad. Oh, what? What are all these little squiggly lines here? Uh, skip. That usually says skip. PC. Hey PC, did there you hear I'm the most advanced operating system in the world? It still doesn't change the fact that I'm the most widely used. Well, I'm the best. 
So pausing that, I'm already noticing, noticing some things here. This font is not the font I'm used to. I, I use this in Windows and I'm going, what? What font is this? And cutest thing ever. Nice comment, thanks. And I'm, I'm just looking at this and things just aren't seeming right. So maybe I need to install the right fonts on this or something. And I'm wondering how is it getting like these fonts? Is it just getting the nearest font to the one it needs? But how does it know which one is the nearest one if it doesn't have a reference? I don't know. Maybe it's just using random fonts. You Tell me in the comments. That would be interesting. So what I'm going to do now, I know that audio is working on the computer at least. So that's step one. Let's now try and download an audio file. So royalty free music. And we're going to see if I can use Audacity to play this audio free music, royalty free music. Um, Where's that site? The site I use for OS first timer videos, I use, I go on Incom Tech. Yeah, here we go, royalty free music. So let's check this out. Hopefully this works. Um, let's go for something disco. So I'll play it here. Yep, working. Let me just make sure Voco screen is still recording. Yes, fantastic. I might, I might stop it soon though, because I don't really trust give, leaving it more than 10 minutes. Sometimes things can get out of sync. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to download this with Firefox. So, oh, look at that. Open with Audacity. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to open with Audacity. So here we go. It's downloading. Let's see if Audacity opens up with it. Here we go. Three, two, one. The system has detected that another, okay, may cause data rock, oh, okay, let's quit that one, okay, Wait, that didn't, okay, maybe I'll just open it again, so open with audacity, oh, now let's play, oh, wow, it knew exactly what to use, that's great. So right now you're hearing audio, right? But this audio is number one from this camera that I'm tapping because uh, it's a HD camera. You're just getting... I'm basically overlapping this screencast video with this other video I'm doing here. It's hard to explain, but yeah. So what I'm going to now do is... I know that this is configured right, but I need to work out how to get this microphone properly configured because how am I going to use, for example, my webcam... So let's work out how to do that probably in the next episode. So maybe you guys can get help me on what I should... In fact, let's, let's press stop on the recording now. I'll just press stop like this. Three, two, one, and stop. And you are now back with me here. <laughs> Screen jumped from good to bad. So on top of my computer is a webcam, as you can see. I'm going to try and get the audio working for this. Ah, uh, I forgot what you call it. It's like a Logitech Quick Cam. Oh, I wish it had the actual thing here. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this now. I'm. I think I need a driver. So if I can get this driver, then I'll be able to use this Logitech webcam. In fact, let's try and get a program called Cheese. Cheese, I know, is a program where you can make like webcam recordings. So maybe if I get cheese, it might automatically get the driver I need for the Logitech webcam. So let's try that out now. I'm going to download cheese and see if I get any picture and audio and if I can use cheese to record videos and take photos. Let's try now. Okay, here we go. Starting Voco screen in three, two, one, click. You should now be seeing everything through the screen. Okay, but hearing my voice through the camera. So what I'm going to do is, where, where are we going to go? I'm going to try and get cheese. So let's just guess, I'm just going to guess that it's in the not arch user repository, but the official thing. So I'm typing in sudo pacman s cheese. Oh, please work, please work, please work. Okay, and the password. Yes, cheese is here. Okay. So now we're downloading cheese. Oh, look at 
look at this. Already, my system is feeling pretty big. I've got windows of all these programs open that I didn't even have before. Okay, let me just get rid of library now. And I, I need Voco screen open, obviously. Uh, let me just quickly test to make sure that last video, because I don't even know if that last video worked. 580 megabytes. I'll just quickly drag it in. And I'm just checking to see if it worked. Yep, it looks like it worked. And let me just see if I can scrub through the video. Wow, look at that. It worked. Okay, I'm going to quit that. And good, this is still recording. How is the installation? Oh, it's gone, it's gone good. Okay, so now I'm going to open cheese. It should be in here. Oh, there it is. Here we go, cheese. Uh-oh. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. So here we go. I'm obviously going to need to install this webcam. It says, no device found. Okay. This is going to be a tricky one. So what I'm going to have to do now is work out how to install this Logitech webcam. I'm going to stop recording in three, two, one, boom. And now you are back in this camera view. Okay, so let's come down here and look at this. So it's Logitech. Let's hope that it has its name here. Okay, what's it say? It says Logitech. This device is certified. Oh, are you kidding me? It doesn't even have a name. So I don't even know what I'm looking for here. Oh, I hope I've still got a box or an instruction manual in my drawer. Kingston trackball. Uh, the Kingston trackball, in case you're wondering, is just this thing here. I don't use a mouse, I use a trackball because it's better for your hands. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I've got a bunch of things here. We're just going to hope that I'll find it in here. I'm going to just stop recording until I find it. Oh, I think I found it. Logitech. Uh, <laughs> my Logitech speakers. Wrong Logitech. Okay, I've got to keep searching through all of this. And luckily it was pretty much the next thing. So Logitech Quick Cam. What's it called? I need to know exactly what it's called. It doesn't ah oh, it doesn't have its exact name. Logitech Quick Cam. Communicator Deluxe. Now I know there's a Linux driver for this because when trying out Fedora, Fedora had cheese and I was actually able to get the driver and stuff working like out of the box on this. So let me, I'll, I'm going to try, I'm going to go now onto the computer and we're going to search for it. So here we go. Starting Voco screen in, uh, and don't worry, I'm not going to do this every video. I'm just doing this until Voco screen can record my audio. Anyway, starting Voco screen in three, two, one, start. Okay. Is it working? Boy, I hope so. Okay. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to type in, and another thing, once I've got this audio working, then I've got to try and get the screen resolution right, because you're probably seeing black boxes at the top or bottom of the screen now because of this. So, royalty-free music. No. What are we looking for? Logitech Quick Cam Communicate Deluxe. But what model is this? No, it's, I don't even know what model this is. Uh, uh, driver? Oh, great. Driver Arch Linux. Let's just hope this works. Webcams? Oh, good job, Arch. This Arch Wiki is fantastic. Okay, so what are we doing it for? Get software. Okay, cheese. So what am I needing? Linux webcam support. Most probably your webcam will work out of the box. In that case, you may skip to the okay configuration. No. Identify your webcam. Okay, the name. Find a proper driver. Below is the list of webcams and what drivers work with. Okay, so we're looking for Logitech. Logitech. Log. Oh no. I'm not seeing Logitech. Oh, I see cheese there. I'm seeing 
Oh wait a sec, what am I what am I even doing? I'm looking for Log Ah wait a sec, Logitech, here we go. Linux Logitech Quick Cam Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and use this driver here, so it's called I think this is what you call it, Linux UVC. So that's I'm I'm just gonna try and put that in the terminal and hope that that works. Here we go. Pac-Man, wait, sudo Pac-Man s Linux UVC, and I'll type in my password. Please work. Ah, oh. so this is gonna be a little more difficult than I thought. Is part of the kernel. Just load the UVC video module. How do you load the yeah, I'm not I'm not good at this. Okay. <laughs> this driver does not have that support. Uh, is there any other Logitech? Oh Logitech Quick Cam. Oh, maybe it's one of these? I I'm, I'm not sure. It's called Communicate Deluxe. Communicate. It doesn't say Communicate Deluxe here. Does this one say Communicate so Quick Cam? Communicate. Oh, I'm not seeing communicate deluxe. That's what I'm looking for here. Maybe I have to type in which one? Which one's? Oh, I've lost it again. Logitech communicate. So maybe this one. So I'll copy this. Ah, uh, messenger communicate. Uh, I'm really confused. Okay. Let's try this, and I'll just go up, sudo pacman, and please work. Oh, are you kidding me? I have to type it because I can't paste. Paste? Oh, you can paste. Uh, so it's not finding any of these. Uh, this is a real disaster now. I don't know what to do. You know what? I might need to leave my little adventure here. We've achieved a lot in this video. A real, a real lot, but I, once again, need help. I need help with getting my Logitech uh, webcam working uh, for this cheese program and all the audio stuff so I no longer have to use uh, the, this thing, this video camera anymore. So, I'm going to now quit Audacity, uh, no, don't save, I'm going to quit this file thing, I'm going to quit cheese. And I'm going to close the terminal. And finally, I'm going to end the recording here. Three, two, one, and stop. So thank you for watching episode one of Adventures in Arch Linux. This episode was a lot more exciting, even though it's still a bit boring, a lot more exciting than the episode zero. Don't watch episode zero, just trust me, unless you just want to sit down for 52 minutes bored to death. Now, in the next video, I need your help. Yes, that's exactly how the last video ended, and I got your help. You guys told me that it's in the Arch user repository. That's where I could find VocoScreen. Now that we've got VocoScreen working, and it's... Yep, it's stopped. It's doing such a good job at recording these videos, so thank you for whoever suggested VocoScreen. A big thumbs up to you. There's another problem, though. I don't know how to get my Logitech webcam working. It's apparently a Logitech QuickCam Communicator Deluxe. I don't know how you get the proper driver for this. You guys need to tell me on Arch Linux, how do I get a driver for this Logitech webcam? Uh, I'll just show you a little few of the pages. <laughs> Thought that this will help you very much, but quickly it will. So, how do I get this working? I have no idea how to get the driver. You guys tell me right now. See you next time in Adventures in Arch Linux. Goodbye. Just to show you at the end here how sad this is, I'm actually having to go into uh, like my portable hard drive in Ubuntu because I plugged in a USB in Arch Linux and it didn't actually work. So I'm now accessing my stuff in Ubuntu and I'm putting it on a USB which I'm going to take to Windows so there we go ending the episode off with another little thing I'll probably need to fix for Arch Linux USB support anyway see ya